Good morning guys. It's one of those days that I am full of updates and I have some announcements to give you guys. Over this weekend, my cousin came over to celebrate Lily's birthday and I had asked him if he can build something for me because as you guys know, I am trying to maximize the space that I'm working with and I'm trying to grow as much as I can and fall's coming so I'm trying to find an area where I can grow some more strawberries and also some um, lettuces because I want to have my own um, my own salad salad garden so um, a lot of the things I have growing over here are probably gonna stay in winter over um, like I have a strawberry in there that kills my winter over um, I, I have just figs here that I have some pots that I'm growing for my cuttings and I, they're just sitting on top in pots to help retain some moisture and also to give them a, a microcli microclimate to help them produce, um, continue to grow. So um, the, I will have a little bit of space to put a few things in here. For example, the chamomile might not make it over the winter and I might have to pull that out. There's some space here that I can probably grow some lettuce. I try to grow some hibiscus plants. but. Um, that didn't go very well, so we'll see. I tried growing my own cucumbers from seeds. That didn't grow. I mean, you guys seen how crazy my other one grew, but this one is just like a little mini dwarf cucumber. I don't even know what happened to it. I actually have forgotten about it till right now. So anyways, I might be able to put some stuff here. As you guys know, I built this, um, this vertical strawberry tower here and I'm missing one more which I'm going to add to it but oh I thought I saw a strawberry in here but um I have to show you guys something my awesome cousin came over and he brought me a surprise which I was so happy to see because you guys I showed you guys the two spots that I thought I can continue to add more edibles to my landscape one was where I put the strawberries and the other one was here in the front of my house where there was some fencing so I'm about to show you what he brought me he custom made them and they fit perfectly can you guys see that these are some amazing um, stainless steel containers that I gave him the measurements and he made them fit perfectly in this little um, I call it a Syrian sitting area but really it's like a f part of my fence and all I have to do is drill holes on them put some something to help with drainage and then go ahead and add some more strawberries and lettuces for my fall and as you can see it gets plenty of sun there so it will be a perfect spot to grow some lettuces and some amazing food and it would add some green because during the fall this tree completely goes dormant and it would look pretty to add some green there i'm trying to keep most of my um evergreen trees in the front of my house just because i would like this part of my house to always look nice and the rest that the trees that go dormant put them in the back of the house i do have apple trees in here and it's okay because i have plenty of citrus trees that's gonna provide that green that i want to look in my garden and I'm hoping that that passion fruit takes off and grows along this fence to provide even more green and as I keep mentioning some privacy for my yard. So I'm very excited about this, but I really wanted to show you guys this amazing um, containers that my cousin custom built for me. He is amazing. He can build just about anything, knows how to do just about anything. And uh, I was really blessed to have him help me do this because um, this will definitely maximize my space and will help me get more production out of my garden so I'm very excited about that guys I just wanted to take a moment I was going to do a video while I was having Lily's party but I was so busy um, with everything going on at the party that I couldn't but I was so excited when he came and brought these to me because as you can see look at that they fit perfect they look nice um, I might leave them that color or paint them black just so they can match the rest of my house I want to know what your opinion is what do you guys think should I leave them this color or paint them black um, so they can match the rest of my um, landscape I really want to know what you guys think I need some help um, Anyways, guys, I'm so excited. I can't wait to add some more food into this yard and using those, maximizing your space, guys. So just keep in mind, if you guys think that you guys don't have enough space somewhere, I mean, as you know, look at this. I'm going to move this just so you can see. Would you have thought that you can grow something on that tiny little space? 
Probably not because I didn't even think about that till I kept looking at my yard and trying to figure out where else I can grow. You really have to put some thought into your landscape and uh, the work, the area that you're working with. Because as you can see, I don't think I would have thought about growing something there other than putting some pots there. Um, unless I was really, really searching for the answers and trying to figure out a spot to grow. So you can see it doesn't look like much space, right? But then when you look at that, you can see, oh, wow, that container can really do fit there. And I could grow a lot there. So guys, I'm so excited. I know I'm rambling. I have tons of updates to give you guys. And, um, I'm super, super, super excited. I can't wait to grow some things in here. I might wait a little bit till it cools down and then add some more strawberries and lettuces because that's the one thing I don't have. I don't have any lettuces. So if you guys recommend any particular um, lettuce that you think I should grow, please leave it in the comments down below. I'll try to um, do some research on how I can get the seeds. Um, that's another thing I wanted to ask you guys. Let me walk over here where the lighting's better. I really want to um, order some seeds for spring next, next season. So if you guys have any specific um, websites catalogs that you guys order seeds from please let me know because i want to um, start ordering seeds and i have no idea where to begin please leave it in the comments down below where's your favorite website to order seeds from and let me know um what seeds you recommend for lettuces just to to build um, a salad garden please leave it in the comments down below anyways guys as you guys know you guys are probably gonna see tons of updates from me from me because I've been meaning to do all these videos but I've been super busy with Lily's birthday and she had a great time she really deserved to have a birthday um, party and it was amazing so anyways guys I'm really excited tons of things happening here in the garden uh, please leave it in the comments down below a what color should I paint that or should I leave it as is Two, what kind of um, lettuces should I grow for my salad and three what's number three? <laughs> oh yeah the seeds uh, where should I order seeds from because I want to start growing more things from now that I have space to grow things um, that I created because it wasn't there people I mean, as you guys can see, that bed over there I created out of wood. I mean, you just got to find space. But um, um, please tell me what seats you guys, re what catalogs do you guys recommend to order seats from and which ones. All right, guys, I know I've been rambling. I hope you guys have a blessed day. I'll see you on the next one. And I love you guys. Bye-bye.